To scan the lateral ligaments, uh, first starting with the calcaneal fibular ligament in a longitudinal plane, the patient is still in this uh, prone or in this supine position. So we're going to dorsiflex uh, the foot and then connecting the lateral malleolus with the uh, calcaneal bone. Uh, what we will see is this right here. So here we can see the lateral um, uh, malleolus. Uh, and now we can see right here the calcaneofibular ligament. So we want to observe that the ligament is hyperchoic, uh, that it's not uh, thickened and that there is no sign of tearing. So if I'm going to dorsi uh, flex uh, the foot um, and going a little bit more towards uh, um, the inversion, uh, you can see that we are also now tightening the uh, ligament and that there comes a stretch uh, of the ligament and this also shows that the ligament is intact uh, we can see the, the 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 peroneal tendons bouncing on top of the ligament this is also a healthy sign because if the ligament would be torn the ligaments would go uh, into the depth in the defect of the calcaneofibular ligament to scan the anterior talofibular uh, ligament the foot is uh, placed on the table with a little bit of inversion of the foot and now we are going to scan the lateral malleolus with the talus so placing the transducer right there so here we can see the lateral malleolus this is the talus and in between uh, we can see the atfl the anterior talofibular ligament Make sure that you scan up and down to see every part of the ligament uh, and also a little bit of the joint. And you are going to observe the integrity of this uh, ligament, the thickness, the echogenicity, but also cortical irregularities. Are there signs of avulsion or calcification in this region? And lastly, you're going to check for fluid collections that, or effusions that come from uh, the joint. After having checked the ATFL, we're going to check the anterior tibiofibular ligament and this one has a little bit of a oblique position so from this ATFL that we just did I'm going to rotate the transducer to oblique right like this okay and now we can see the syndesmosis right here between the tibia and the fibula right there and this is the uh, anterior tibiofibular ligament. So again, we're going to observe the joint width. We're going to observe the cortical regularity of the bone uh, and also the integrity and echogenicity of the uh, anterior tibiofibular ligament.